Greetings from the yawning gap of chaos. I am Lucas of Voler. I'm Laura, and we thought we were long overdue to check in with our fans and tell you guys what we've been working on during this pandemic and actually before. Yeah, so um, if you have been following us, you probably noticed that last year in like kind of the height of the pandemic, we released a little EP called Veiled City uh, featuring our friend Michael Eckert. And also uh, a couple of years before that, about two years before that, I released an EP called Psycho Pomp uh, featuring local singer Ivy Mary. Uh, you might have noticed, especially if you bought the second edition of Psycho Pomp, and the Veiled City that it said Die Sprache in der Vogel, uh, one and two on it. What uh, does that mean for mean, our non-German speakers? It means the languages of birds. Uh, and so the idea behind this is that these EPs that have been released and will be released are going to be a kind of series of collaborations with local and international artists. So this is like outside of our, you know, super produced yeah so our main kind long of, length albums yeah full length kind of produced records these are kind of more uh self-released um uh like varying varying levels of fidelity on them uh i see it like i see it as a way that we're using our platform as a band it's also it's sort of like a world that we've created mm -hmm. and this is in an effort to feature collaborations with local and international artists yeah and and they'll kind of like branch out into different directions, uh, different styles of music that maybe, well, we probably put on the albums anyways, but also uh, chances to kind of like delve deeper into like specific genres or sounds. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, well, there's a new one coming out. So speaking of international collaborations mm -hmm. and delving into new sounds, yeah, let's give them a look at this beautiful tape. Mm -hmm. This is our newest EP, which is called Zwischen den Wäldern, which means in German, Between the Forests. And it is featuring Arif Nurbagi. Uh, you might know him from Protest the Hero, Canadian kind of uh, post-hardcore legends, Protest the Hero. And also... This his... does not sound like that. No, it does not. This is a more kind of folk acoustic record and also blending in aspects of uh, Persian and Kurdish music. Mm -hmm. uh, and so Arif was kind enough to join us and then just give you a sample of the beautiful art by uh, Parva Parkane. Uh, Arif was lucky, was uh, kind enough to join us on a song called Fremtheit, Fremtheit, which, in which he plays the tambour, which is a beautiful um, Kurdish Persian instrument that actually I've been learning how to play, uh, inspired by him. And uh, it's kind of like a doom, jazz, folk kind mm -hmm. of thing. And just- Not to be confused with folk metal. Not not folk metal. <laughs> and um, yeah, and uh, it's, it's a kind of a lovely, uh, I mean, his performance is quite lovely uh, on this kind of like, uh, yeah, like, a, like you take a solo on it, he takes a solo on it, kind of like really exploring, uh, giving kind of like a, what he described as like a traditional kind of tambour sound, but also like bringing in a little bit of modern Western elements to it. Mm -hmm. And so overall, the album, which we're actually quite proud of, uh, it's more of an acoustic kind of, uh, um, what was it called? Like almost folk, you know, there's some keyboards on it. Acoustic banjo. focused, anything that's a lead melody line is an acoustic instrument. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. So acoustic violin, double bass, um, there's a little bit of, a little bit of weirdness going on at the end of it, more experimental track. We gotta give you that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but beyond that, it's, uh, we're very proud of it. It's kind of like a meditation on, um, like, like nature, space, time, kind of dealing with those, those themes of like how nature changes through time and how people's perception of public and private spaces and places change through time. Mm -hmm. um, and we've been working on it for a long while. I started it recording, what, in 2019, I think it was, yeah. 2019, and now yeah. we're finally happy to be releasing it. Mm -hmm. on, uh, and we'll, we'll be releasing it on November 5th. The pre-sale will start this Friday, which is October 15th. And the pre-sale will be through Bandcamp. Mm -hmm. But as of November 5th, if you're local in Toronto, you can also buy it through our website, www.volardoom.com. Mm -hmm. And if you hit the local pickup option, 
you can come visit me on my porch. Mm -hmm. um, but for everywhere else in the world, you can order through Bandcamp or the website. Yeah. I believe that the shipping prices are comparable. Right, of course. And you'll be able to get a digital download of it as well. And also we'll be saying that we are going to be releasing a couple of weeks after that a tape version, an analog tape version of uh, the Veil of Veiled City. And you can see they all have beautiful little birds on them. You can collect all three. Mm -hmm. And there'll be more coming. Um, there'll be more coming along. We're already working on one, which is like very close to being done. And I think I'm going to go live on at 730 on Friday and kind of uh, play through these tapes and give a bit more answer any questions people have about the series. And then I'll probably give a sneak peek of the next tape that we're doing. And Laura is down on the floor playing with Taco, a, wrestling with Taco. Of my dog. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't he cute, folks? Look at him. Oh, this is Taco, everybody. Hope you've all been well, and we look forward to hopefully being on a stage soon. Mm -hmm. All right. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks.